What's up gamers, I'm John, and this is my level of news where I bring you news every weekday. It's the top news I gather from around the web, so you don't have to. Today's Thursday, April 25th, 2024. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. Attention, Helldivers 2 players, High Command has issued a new order. Stop targeting soldiers wearing blue pre-order bonus armors out of jealousy. This armor, part of a successful marketing campaign for a frozen yogurt brand, is causing some players to engage in coordinated attacks against those blue clad soldiers. Arrowhead, the game's developer, has urged players to stop this behavior. While role playing as Super Earth soldiers can be fun, targeting these players interferes with others' enjoyment of the game. Let's keep the game fun for everyone and stop attacking the yogurt salesman. Indie studio Argo Crab is thrilled by the positive response to their new Souls-like game, Another Crab's Treasure, despite facing multiple break-ins at their Seattle-based studio leading up to the launch. The game's release coincides with major titles like Stellar Blade and Sandland, representing tough competition. However, early impressions, including those from news editors like Ali Jones, highlight the game's humor, shell-based combat, and grappling hook mechanics. Developers are celebrating the game's positive reception on Twitter, with most reviews landing in the 8-9 to nine range score. It's refreshing to see developers embracing their success, especially in an online environment where an 8-10 score sometimes is misunderstood as average. Atlas's upcoming RPG, Metaphor Refantasio, combines elements from their iconic Persona series with a new fantasy setting. Scheduled for release on October 11th for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, the game features social mechanics similar to Persona alongside faster combat and a fresh storyline. Players must navigate a world where the King's assassination targets on an election, building alliances and exploring dungeons to gain support. With a job system based on archetypes, players can customize their party's abilities. Metaphor promises to be a massive game that explores the power of fantasy. The Little Big Planet series with its iconic mascot Sackboy has been a PlayStation favorite since its debut in 2008. With its creative tools and charming gameplay, Little Big Planet allowed players to unleash their creativity and share their levels with the online community. Following the success of the series, Media Molecule transitioned to Dreams in 2020, offering even more extensive creative possibilities. Despite the end of support for Dreams in 2023, Media Molecule has announced a new IP in development promising another innovative gaming experience. While details are scarce, a recent job listing confirms that the studio is hard at work on their next project, leaving fans eagerly awaiting for more news. Hellmere in Helldivers 2 is plagued by constant fires, causing severe damage to players and enemies alike. Arrowhead has acknowledged the issue, admitting that the fire damage is excessive and confirming that a complete overhaul is underway. Despite having one of the lower player counts, Helmir is not the only planet facing this problem, as other planets also struggle to maintain player interest. This highlights the tension between Helldivers 2's hardcore community focused on a galactic war and casual players who prefer specific planets and enemies. While some major orders may fail, losing planets temporarily, they become playable again in the future. Despite these challenges, Helldivers 2 has become a surprise hit in 2024, topping Steam charts and reportedly selling over 3 million copies since its February launch. Destiny 2 developer Bungie recently recommended that players exit onslaught matches at wave 40 due to a game breaking bug shortly after implementing a buff to rewards for completing all 50 waves. The latest update 7.6.3.2 was intended to address player feedback regarding insufficient rewards in onslaught. It introduced two additional weapons for completing wave 50, one from looting the final chest and another with a chance to drop along the way, guaranteed upon reaching wave 50. This update aimed to make Onslaught more rewarding, particularly for those who completed the full 50 waves. However, shortly after the update went live, Bungie acknowledged a bug in Legend difficulty that prevents the final boss from spawning. As a result, Bungie advised players to exit the activity at wave 40 until the fix is implemented. The Destiny 2 team assured players that they are actively investigating the issue and encouraged players to stay tuned to official support for channels for updates. Until the bug is resolved, players will not receive the full benefits of the new reward system. And with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out.